A Toka Macbarrow film. Bitter Rain tells the story of a group of individuals from the city. A journalist eager to find the truth and an adventure-seeking couple who converged on a mystical celebration in the distant town of Ahaba, leading to a roller coaster of events. The cast include Mike Ezoroyen, Zubi Michael, Alex Kubo, Ayomakun, Stan Eze, amongst others. Come with us to the premiere in Lagos. is my husband and we are that couple that would find the scariest place in the world to visit and like just have a vacation and prove to everyone that there's no such thing as ghosts, there's no such thing as monsters, there's no such thing as myths. So well, I'm proud of the way they have been able to do what they did in the film. Transformation from the uh, old uh, part of the film to the new part of the film, yes. So our people are doing very well now, yeah. Of course, um, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of um, of new things. I'm a fan of. I'm not a fan of the recycle. Uh, I believe we have a whole lot more to give with regards to storytelling and, of course, directing as well and what we feed uh, the viewers. So I was quite excited when I got the call and I jumped on it immediately. Yes. Shut up. The curse led to the rains of Ahaba being bitter. Bitter in the sense that every time it rains, um, the ground's born. So literally like acid rain falls. So, so the people, they spend the last few hundred years trying to resolve the curse so that they could get the rain to become sweet again. Pass with me. I mean it. I wasn't missing words when I said, I'm going to expose your secrets if you do not release my friend now. And what the hell is this Raj uh, from Abash's camp? We run news from the box office, which tells us the highest grossing films from the cinemas. A quick reminder that the popularity of a film doesn't determine the quality of the flick. Good films are determined by so many criteria, which include screenplay, cinematography, sound production, and sound design, production design, and many, many other criteria. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the highest grossing Nigerian films of the weekend in Nigerian cinemas. This week, filmmakers are coming up with new movies, displacing others from the list. Let's check out the top 10. Oh! 
Scripted by Ademi Nokan and Obie Melonye, the production follows the story of a troubled young man who turns to a boxing mentor for guidance. He soon discovers that his coach is his father, who abandoned him decades ago. The movie begins our lineup. House and movie Zainabu Abu is at number nine. In its third week, the film has maintained a presence on the top ten. It's all about games and relationships. Hustle, the film produced by Mark Adigbesi and Omomi Ololoyo, drops two places to number eight. You get it? Your name, your gym franchise, everything. <laughs> Cookie Spot, a movie with a message to women that talks about reflection and life, is at number seven this week. It's okay. This is my life. You have been threatened to send us for this house. I know you don't care because you know what to say. Remind yourself about the Devil in Agbada is still in a sixth position. It's written and produced by Chini Love Eze. You see a curveball? <laughs> Pillars of Africa, now in its second week, is still in the top ten at number five. The film set in a fictional Zambi Republic revolves around a gritty war tale. Luckily, help came. To make sure I spray my sister, I'm never going to have the chance again. After returning to his local village for his sister's wedding, a player finds himself haunted by forces that he struggles to escape due to his selfish and womanizing ways. My Village People stays the same on this week's list. The number four Nigerian comedy thriller is written by Bovi Ugoma and directed by Nia Kimalaya. <laughs> Next is Ayila. For eight weeks, the Tunde Kelani movie remains on the list. The musical film based on the life of Ayila Yusuf, popularly known as Ayila Omohura, comes in third place. The roots that bore him. The story of Nedu and Botta and Tolani and Juliet over the course of a couple of days drops to number two this week. Dwindle is grossing over three million naira. Now will come pay my balance. If someone is respecting you, do yourself a favor by respecting yourself. And in first place is newcomer Crazy Grannies. The hilarious movie debuts on the top 10 and it's directed by Kaede Peters. Beautifully played by Shafi Bello, Ngozi Nwosu and Princess Damilola Adekoya, also known as Princess the Comedian. It's grossing over 5 million naira. <laughs> And why not catch a movie or two? I'll see you next time. Cheers. If you miss anything in the box office chart, it's available online and you can always chat with us at this address. And that's a wrap for this show. Until next time, I am Kui Shotadi asking you to aim high, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll probably end up with the stars.